So I want to take a look at one of the basic trade policy instruments that are used uh, around the world, which are tariffs. Uh, now these are taxes on imports. That is to say, a government will force an importer that's bringing a product into the country to pay a tax in order to sell it within the domestic economy. Now one thing to, to be very clear about, you know, this is a discriminatory tax. That is to say, it's a, a tax that is imposed on only products that come in from abroad. The same product produced domestically doesn't have a tax put upon it. So one of the things that is very important to understand is the effect of the tax on of the imports on domestic prices. Now, a lot of students will, will think, well, you're putting a tax on the foreign goods. The domestic goods price won't change at all. In fact, that's a lot of politicians uh, think that as well, or say that anyway. But a sophisticated analysis of this and is one that will show that the tax on the imported good has an impact on the domestic price as well. And in, in fact, it tends to increase the price. So first, let's think of a simple example when the product is a homogeneous good. That is to say, a consumer wouldn't have any way to tell whether or not this product was produced in the foreign market or in the domestic market. As far as the consumer is concerned, it's the same thing. So their choice is going to be determined strictly on price. Now, we're also going to talk about a situation where you have perfect competition. Now, we'll relax that in a minute, but this is a good, is a good place to start. So let's imagine that the world price of this product is $100. That is to say, the price of this product charged in international markets is $100. Originally, the domestic price under free trade is also going to be $100. Okay, this is before the tariff. So the domestic firms and the foreign firms compete on an equal footing. And if it's an imported good, then it's probably going to be the case that the domestic firms are going to be irritated about this because they've got this foreign competition that's selling this product forcing its uh, domestic, uh, or not forcing, but the con domestic consumers can now buy this foreign good at $100. Now, if the domestic firm convinces the government to put a tax of $10 on the foreign good, but re uh, leaving the domestic price alone, well, then a foreigner, seeing this tax, will charge now with the tariff $110, which is the world price, plus the tariff. Now, a domestic firm, seeing this, is going to say, hey, I don't have to worry as much about foreign competition. Foreigners are going to charge $110. I'm charging $100. I can uh, raise my price a little bit and not worry about the foreigners competing with me. Now, because we're talking about a situation with perfect competition and homogeneous goods, this process by which the, the domestic price tends to rise increases in a very particular way. That is to say, that every domestic firm, small firms, in this perfect competitive market, will have no reason not to charge fully $110. Now, if they charge $108, they will be able to sell more. But if for small competitors in, a, in perfect competition, they can sell all they want at the market price anyway. So for them, the, the sensible thing to do is to go ahead and charge $110. That is to say, the equivalent to the world price plus the tariff. So the new domestic price 
is going to be $110 as well. Now for the domestic firm, that this means that the tax on the imported good raises the price that they can receive in the domestic market. So they think this is great. They can now charge $110 rather than the $100 that they had before. Because it's a small competitor, they're going to have every reason to charge that full uh, $110. So what you see with the homogeneous goods, the price of the foreign good and the domestic good have to end up being the same. They start the same, they have to end the same because it's a homogeneous good. So, for the homogeneous good, perfect competition, the price goes up by the full amount of the tariff. Now, it's worth thinking about what would happen if this was a differentiated good. That is to say, foreign goods and domestic goods were not exactly the same. So, the world price, the, the price of the imported goods, is going to be just as before, $110, including the tariff. And that's with the tariff. And the domestic firm is going to be able to say, well, I've got a slightly different product. The foreigners are getting, uh, are charging $110. I'll charge slightly less than that. Because, say, the foreign goods were higher quality. So a Mercedes versus a you know a simple Chrysler. So maybe in that domestic market you would now charge a hundred and eight dollars. But you see in both the hum, uh, the differentiated goods case and the uh, perfect competition case, the domestic price tends to be bid up because of the tax on the imported good. And that's the thing to really focus on, that the restriction of, of competition from the imported source is going to allow the domestic firms to raise their price somewhat and be able to operate in the market in a way that they couldn't before they had the, uh, the intervention by the government. Now, the details of the other effects we'll talk about in, a, in another lecture. But again, the key point here is to say that a tax on the imported good tends to raise the foreign goods price and it increases the domestic price. Now one final thing to note here. In this case, in, the, in these two instances that I've discussed, we've been as implicitly assuming that the country that is imposing the tariff is a small country. Now how do I know that? Because the world price internationally doesn't change. Foreigners looking at this domestic market will say, I need to net $100. I need $100 for selling in this market because I can sell that for any other uh, place in the world. So they pat, the foreigners pass on the full amount of the tariff with the small country assumption. Now the large country instance where uh, foreigners are operating in a, in a market that is important to them uh, and has an influence on the international prices we'll get to uh, later. So this is the, the basic impact of tariffs on foreign, the prices of foreign goods and the prices of domestic goods, both with homogeneous goods, perfect competition, and differentiated goods, perfect competition. And we'll get into more of the detail of the, of the economic impact in just a second.